name's Paulie and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to bend up the old fuzz face circuit and get some kind of synthy sounds out of it. That was my trumpet like sound and basically all of that effect was coming from that circuit there. The natural compression and gating that happens uh, with that circuit when it's run at its extremities can give you trumpet like effects like what you could just hear. And even that nasally kind of sound. So let's have a look at the sounds that I can get out of this thing. You can get normal kinds of fuzz sounds. Okay, let's get some spitty kind of synthy sounds. We need to operate on the edge of the circuit's operating range. tone control up, I'm on the bridge pickup of a strat with a humbucker in the bridge position. So I'll wind the tone up. And you start getting these octave kinds of effects. I'm at the 12th fret at the moment. We just turn the tone back a little. Tends to bring it out, out a little more. I've wound the, the tone back, we're still on the bridge pickup, and I'm going to kick a wah wah in. It's actually after this circuit, between the this circuit and the amplifier. <laughs> So it's a little too gated there. So what we can do kind of sound. What I'm turning here, it's actually the bias on this transistor. I'll uh, show you the schematic a little later. As the note decays, it kind of does this funny octave thing. Kind of 
kind of octaves down. Okay, I've got the wah wah in again, and here's that panning kind of uh, synth pad, real grovelly synth pad sound. <laughs> off again. A little bit glitchy this on this setting. I'll turn the tone back up. We're on the bridge pick up again. Humbucker of course. Very glitchy. Okay so let's go way over the other side of the spectrum. So here's sort of normal. Fuzz again. I'll turn this one all the way around. Ah, oh, hang on. bit dodgy when you're operating on the edge of the circuit, that's all. We're back to that trumpety kind of sound. That's the bridge pickup with the tone all the way up. We'll turn the tone down. Can't hear a big difference. We'll turn the volume down a little. Just turning it up slowly. Now, I consider this one the sort of main control. It, it's actually um, varying the amount of gain, virtually, of the circuit, and kind of the bias as well. And I consider this guy to be the fine tune, which is the bias of uh, the input transistor. So if we turn that around, we sort of start to get an octave down sound now. It's kind of weird, it's um, not, not like a complete octave sometimes. Sometimes it's more like a harmonizer type effect that's uh, somewhere lower. Very crunchy. Good with a wah. <laughs> Getting pretty out of control there. Here it's, it's sort of becoming smoother and more predictable now. It 
still very crunchy with um, with the chords though. I'll turn the tone down. We're on the bridge pickup. Just roll the volume back slightly. Just to give you an idea, right now when I'm playing, I'm at the 12th fret. So it's kind of octave down. Slowly wind the, the tone up. kind of weird it's like there's in the attack there's this really high frequency like almost like an octave up little little kind of sound there but then it, it decays really quickly and you're left with that lower sound Only really good for single notes, this. Slowly turn that tone up. It's all the way out. So that's low E. Maximum volume tone all the way up on the bridge pickup. This is the neck. Sounds very kind of uh, almost bit crushed. That's volume tone all the way up. We'll roll the tone back all the way. volume might be a bit much, we'll just roll that back. Again, you're getting that really prominent octave down sound. I'm at the 12th fret again. Uh, now around the 5th. Now I'm at the playing around the nut. And that was with the volume down slightly and the tone down all the way. Turn the tone up about halfway. A little bit of compression happening there or gating almost. You turn, sometimes when, you, when that's happening you can turn the volume down slightly on the guitar and uh, it'll kind of stop that. But if you're into that trumpet kind of sound you need that soft attack. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at the circuit and um, see what I've actually done to it. Okay, so here's the original fuzz circuit that I built the uh, that circuit up off. And these transistors here, I know they recommend uh, these NKT 275s and AC 128s and whatnot. But in the test that uh, you just heard, I was using uh, PNP transistors, of course, and they were silicon. They were just common everyday transistors, they were BC559s. Now I did try earlier on some of these 
uh, Hitachi 2SB uh, germanium transistors and they behaved kind of differently uh, I guess they weren't as harsh and I found that uh, the cutoff points were in different places and they just behaved generally differently I wouldn't say they were better and I wouldn't say they were worse I think for a you know a good fuzz pedal that you just want fuzz for uh, you know germanium transistors are the go uh, well for me anyway uh, so what have I done to this circuit other than sticking the BC559s in here? Well, the first thing I did was the bias of this transistor. And I changed this resistor here to a variable resistor. And it was 250K. and I found that that had a good effect. I tried uh, a pot on this one and it didn't have quite the effect. It more, more or less just uh, controlled the volume. But with this one, it seemed to change the bias and when I had the uh, oscilloscope on, I could actually see the waveform changing shape uh, with this, this control here. So the other thing I did, apart from not having any volume control, so it was basically just straight out, although I think I did set up a potential divider there so that I could limit the output volume and I think I've done a similar thing with the fuzz I think I just set up a potential divider just to fix it at a certain point and then I actually put a variable resistor across here across this capacitor to short it out with control of course something similar to that so that I could actually eliminate uh, the capacitor and just have resistance there and then you could control the fuzz also and I found this one was actually the fine control and this guy over here was basically the bias control and that's how I achieve those sounds and I'm sure that there are more sounds that you can get out of this thing if you fiddle around with it and you play with the the volume and tone controls on your guitar and changing pickup positions you'd be surprised what you can get out of it also with the fuzz control to play with on top of that I think it would just add so much more to it and the range of effects that you'll get are pretty enormous. Of course you can just tune it up to a nice fuzz sound that you prefer and um, you could basically just use it as a fuzz pedal with you know an extra set of controls that you can finally adjust. And the, uh, the variable resistor I used was around 50k. Also, for those that are wondering about the taper, they were both uh, A-taper or uh, audio taper or uh, logarithmic taper. So, uh, you might want to experiment with, with linear taper. It might be a little bit better. I just done it for the sake of, they were the first thing that I could grab to use. I'm hoping to do a follow-up on this fuzz circuit and actually build it into a pedal. So if you're interested, stick around, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, just uh, for interest's sake, I don't know whether you can see that, but it's actually 100 degrees here today in Australia on the East Coast, and uh, I'm sweating like a pig. Anyway, have a good day. I'll catch you later.